Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Cheshire Lecoultre Master Control. 39mm in stainless steel, you can see this striking all-arounder and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with accessories included in the sale, high-resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this Cheshire Lecoultre Master Control. 39 millimeters with the 2015 debut black dial. That's the card in the upper right hand corner. Now on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, this watch truly is exactly that, an all-arounder. Just as with motorcycles, there are standard motorcycles, the standard being neither a sport bike nor a cruiser. This watch is effectively between the worlds of a sporty watch and a dress watch. More versatile than a dress watch and more delicate and elegant than a sports watch. It does really have one foot in the attitude of the sports watch with the black dial and the proportions of the dress watch being exceptionally slim. The watch stands only nine millimeters tall on the wrist with a generously sloped conical bezel. It slides easily under a dress cuff. The 39 millimeter size is perfect. Again, it has one foot in the past of traditional size and one foot in the present of larger size preferences. From lug to lug, the watch has a 47 millimeter span, which again is neither undersized nor oversized, but perfectly sized. All in stainless steel, the watch has exceptional case definition with beautiful strong case band lines, a sharply defined outer bezel, and you'll even note there's a subtle bevel along the flank of the lug that gives way seamlessly to the flow of the strap. The strap featuring curved spring bars nicely traces the arc of the case for a more consonant appearance and you also note that it does have bolstering down the center so it has a substance to it that's satisfying. It features a monotone stitch and folded edges and it's a matte black so it doesn't have the drama and one might even say the flamboyance of a gloss strap terminating in Jezure Lecoultre's second generation double deployant buckle, fourth generation deployant buckle overall. The nice thing about a double is it doesn't have the one big up and over fold that can pinch skin when buckled down tight on a smaller wrist and it's beautifully made so that when it is buckled it has the low profile of a traditional pin buckle. Now the watch features a case that is all of high polish. It features the definition that we discussed earlier in which both case back and bezel help to contribute to the horizontal character and masculinity of the case and the bezel itself is flat substantial but a supporting actor relative to that incredible dial. The dial simply explodes. Now it's a matte dial with a slight radial sunburst graining. You'll hardly ever see it except with the assistance of a loop. Now it does feature a small amount of superluminova on the Dauphine style hands for the hours and minutes at center as well as a luminescent dot outboard of each one of the Arabic numerals or dart style faceted and polished hour indices. There are some differences that really warrant mention because a new master control sector dial has debuted in 2017 and people are wondering what's the difference between this and that. Well this features a much more deluxe dial. First of all with luminescence the sector dial has none and second with applications marking the stations of the hours the sector dial features transfer printed indications and calibrations. This is all physical and hand laid. There's also a more substantial full deployant clasp on this watch whereas the sec dial features a simple pin buckle so you are getting a more deluxe timepiece and thanks to the luminescence a more useful timepiece with the traditional master control now the watch features a caliber 899 32 joule Cheshire Lecoultre in-house automatic pull the crown you stop the balance you halt the seconds I'm in the quick set for the date mode right now pull the crown to extremity, now you stop the balance, and as I mentioned, in the intermediate position, the watch features a quick set so you can rapidly cycle the date, and the hacking seconds allows you to synchronize to a reference time. It's a good looking movement that combines some machine finishing techniques and some hand finishing techniques, decidedly above the level of what you'll see at mass manufacturers such as Rolex, Breitling, or Omega. There's a gorgeous circular Cote de Genève pattern across the bridges that's echoed in the winding mass. Jezure Lecoultre 
hasn't cut costs at all with the winding mass itself, rather than the 21 karat, 18 karat gold, and even tungsten being used by other manufacturers, Chevrolet Lecoult still uses 22 karat gold. All of the screws are blued in a kiln by heat, not chemically blued. There's a nice even but machine laid perlage across the base plates. It's the architecture of this movement that's special. You'll note it beats at a modern 4 hertz, 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate, but it has a free sprung balance and the hairspring is laser welded to the stud and the collet. Those two features together allowing the watch to take a very precise regulation and then hold it against shock and vibration. You'll also note that the watch features ceramic rotor bearings at center. Okay, maybe you won't note that because it's hard to see, but it's there and the importance of that is that ceramic bearings operate unlubricated and with high efficiency. The watch also winds unidirectionally, unlike the older 889s, unidirectional being more efficient than bidirectional. And not only does JLC use ceramic in the rotor, it also uses ceramic in the reduction wheel right next to it. So high-tech materials employed throughout alongside traditional finishing techniques such as Cote de Genève and Perlage. It's a handsome automatic winder with a 38-hour power reserve. You can see this striking 2015 15 to present, black dialed stainless steel Jecher Lecoult Master Control on our website.